How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about rivets. Now let's start with parts of the rivet. Now right over here the bigger diameter is called the rivet pin. And this right here is the rivet head. This right here is the mandrel. And this part is the head. What this tool does is that it bites on to this and pulls it outwards. As it pulls, this head is going to start wedging this. And it gets to a point where it breaks off. The bulge on this backside is going to sandwich between the piece that you're in. So what you're going to need is a hole that is the next size up from this diameter. And once you drill it through, you insert this. If you want more surface area for more holding power, you want to pick a bigger rivet head. This is obviously a smaller one. And also, if you're going to sandwich a thicker piece of either a metal, sheet metal, you want a longer rivet pin. Now these come in aluminum or steel. If you can see, the steel is slightly more shinier than the aluminum. The aluminum is a little more dull. And you can feel the difference in weight. Obviously this one's bigger, but you can still feel that this weighs a little more. Also, you can hear the difference in the, in the sound. This is the steel. This is the aluminum. Now here's your typical rivet tool. So for the riveting tool, you have the nose, the head, the handle, the lock, and these right here are the nozzles. They usually come in two or three sizes. For this size, I will need to change it over to this. It's pretty easy. It just screws on. You don't have to tighten these too much. And this fits all the way in here. Now you need this open. Here's. So when this opens up, it allows the rivet to go in. Now if I'm starting to squeeze on this rivet, it's going to start ratcheting and pulling this inwards. You have to always have pressure so that this surface is always making contact with the tip. See how it's pulling inwards? Once it gets to the end, it's going to have so much resistance that it's going to break. And you're left with this on the body. And then when you release your handle, the pin should drop right out. Now let's do this on a piece of scrap metal. Now you have to consider what length you need. If you're just doing two pieces of sheet metal, this is a little overkill. You want the smallest length possible so you don't have to work so hard just to get this to break. So over here I have a hole, pre-drilled.
Now this is your body panel. You're gonna stick this in like this. So with the handle open, I fit the rib in here first. I have the hole pre-drilled on the panel you need. Now you fit it right in. Now you want to have light pressure pushing the head. You want to have light pressure on it at all times. Now you see, as I'm pulling it, I'm still pushing inwards. Once you open the handle, maintain contact with the piece. One more time, it should break. And there you have it. Here's the back side of the rivet. Here's the front side. And then once you release the handle, the broken pin should fall right out. If you have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. Thank you.